It occurred to me that every year I get to have Thanksgiving dinner with my dogs, but there are dogs across the nation at shelters that don't get to have Thanksgiving. So this year, the team and I made up all kinds of Thanksgiving dinners, and we're going to Marley's Mutts to provide them with Thanksgiving. Now we set this up just like you would set up Thanksgiving for your family. If you think about it, a lot of dogs in shelters have never had that loving feeling that we all know that comes from gathering with friends and family at Thanksgiving. They've probably never had a Thanksgiving meal, spent time with a family they could call their own on Thanksgiving, or even had the pleasure of someone sneaking them their aunt's famous stuffing under the Thanksgiving dinner table. Okay, these are the actual Barksgiving dinners. We're gonna get them set up and then we'll bring the dogs in and it's just like a, it's just like a family Thanksgiving dinner. Now these Barksgiving dinners that my team and I put together at my stores, the dog bakery, take hours and hours of love and care and dedication. They've got no salt or sugar, it's only the best. Now the challenge will be getting these rescue dogs to sit still long enough so we can actually get this set up. Now that's Titan, and that's Hooch. And these are just two of the dogs at Marley's Mutts that have a harrowing story. They were abused and beaten and battered and unimaginable things were done to these dogs. And this will no doubt be their first Thanksgiving. Hooch doesn't have a tongue, so we're gonna have to wet the food down and, and put it down the hatch. Yeah, so let's grab a bowl for Hooch so we can water him. Yeah, we can make it more of like a mush. Let's just turn it all into a uh, stuffing. <laughs> okay, so this is Barksgiving at Marley's Mutts. It's like family. Let's get this Barksgiving started. Chow down. Happy Thanksgiving. You start with your cornbread. There you go. When you look at Titan's face, it's easy to think of scarring and fear and pain. But if you look close enough, you see a dog that is forgiving and loving and kind. And while this is his first Thanksgiving, you can tell that he now knows it won't be his last. And if enough people see him, surely someone will take him in forever. You always have that family member that makes a big mess at the table. And in this family, it's Hooch. He doesn't have a tongue, but that doesn't slow him down from playing, loving, being a dog, and having his first Barksgiving dinner. There's really no approach to this. You can go dessert first. That's the strategy which is over what, here. Uh, Shasta, I mean, um, Shelby has done. Look at this, Titan's being. And then Titan is just a quite debonair. And his, uh, yeah, starting with the pie, then moving to the stuffing. Yeah. So, um, Rocky wants to do something nice for all the dogs uh, for Thanksgiving. It's an opportunity for us to. Um, to reflect and give thanks to all of you guys for supporting us um, to just rescue the general, to reflect on where we've been, where we're going, what we've done, and uh... Zach's right. This is a perfect time to reflect and give thanks. And it appears that our four-legged friends are more like us than we ever could have imagined. Not only were they appreciative of this Thanksgiving, but like a lot of families, it got a little unruly. Shelby, was rude and wouldn't take her elbows off the table. Shelby's gotta feed that tumor, man. She got it. And Uncle Shadow downright lost control, jumped on the table, and started eating everybody else's food. Nonetheless, I think we can call this a success. Oh my goodness, that fills my heart. If, if that's not the best Thanksgiving in the world, I don't know what is. Please share this video with everyone you can so we can bring awareness to all of these dogs and, and the love that they deserve. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, I respond to as many as I can, and happy Barksgiving.